The story begins with Danny's life after escaping from the Overlook Hotel with his mother to move to Florida. Young Danny's life was always haunted by supernatural creatures that tortured him. Danny has a power that attracts these creatures. But on the other hand, Danny also has a ghost friend named Dick Halloran. Dick Halloran helps him trap these supernatural creatures in a box within his mind. Fast forward, young Danny has now grown up into a man who loves to drink, doing so because of life's stresses and as an attempt to hide his power. One day, Danny moves to a small town where he meets Billy Freeman, who becomes his friend and always helps him. Danny goes through counseling with Billy to stop drinking. Danny's situation improves, and he then gets a job at a hospital, where he utilizes his shine power. At the hospital, he provides comfort to elderly patients, earning the nickname Dr. Sleep, because elderly patients about to die are always helped by Danny with his power to pass away comfortably. On the other side, there is a kid named Abra Stone, who we call Abra. She also has shine, just like Danny, but stronger. Because of this power, Abra's parents are often afraid of her behavior. Then one day, Danny and Abra meet in a situation that connects their powers. They communicate using shine over long distances, but they do not know each other's true identities. Elsewhere, there is a cult of human predators known as the True Knot, consisting of several members. They are predators who survive off steam, a power produced by the pain of dying people who also have shine. The True Knot's goal is to live longer than ordinary humans. The group is led by a woman named Rose the Hat and her boyfriend, Crow Daddy. They recruit new members to make it easier for them to prey on humans. The new member is a teenage girl named Andy Snakebite, who has the ability to control human minds. Andy has been watched by Crow Daddy and Rose for a long time, until she is finally brought to the compound to partake in a ritual by drinking the steam of humans who also have shine. Eventually, the True Knot gains a new member who can control human minds. Their current goal is to find prey because only with the steam from humans who have shine can they live long. Fast forward eight years, back to Abra and Danny, who have now grown up and their lives have improved. They both keep their powers secret from people, including Abra from her parents and Danny from his friend. They have been communicating for eight years and have become good friends. However, one day, Abra's shine secret is discovered by the True Knot, the immortal human predators. At that time, the predators target a young boy they kidnapped after a baseball game. Rose the Hat, Crow Daddy, and other members start their ritual by tying up the boy and torturing him to extract his steam. The young boy groaned in pain, and the steam that came out of his mouth was inhaled by them. However, the boy's screams were heard by Abra, who was asleep causing her to cry in fear and label Rose and her associates as murderers. Abra's scream was heard by Rose and the Predators, and at the same time Danny's chalkboard also shattered due to Abra's scream. The Predators finished their feast, and the unfortunate boy died, releasing his last steam. Rose quickly informed Crow Daddy that they were being watched by a great power, which piqued Rose's interest in pursuing it. The next morning Abra went to school while trying to find information about the missing child. She indeed found the identity of the boy killed by Rose. At night, she attempted to trace the location of the murder by looking at the photo of the deceased boy, obtaining the complete address of the murder scene. After that, Abra tried to enter Rose's mind using her powers. Rose, who was out shopping, was suddenly startled by Abra's presence in her mind and tried to transform into Abra. However, Abra's power flung Rose, causing her to fall. Rose spoke with Crow Daddy and their friends, expressing her desire to hunt Abra because of her great power and unlimited steam. The next day, Abra skipped school because she wanted to meet with Danny. In a park, Abra met with Danny and told him about the boy she saw the night before, who turned out to be the boy reported missing and had been killed by a group of people who consume human steam for immortality. Abra planned to search for the murderers by finding the boy's corpse. She also told Danny that she had successfully entered Rose's mind. However, Danny refused Abra's proposal and asked her to be careful as it would endanger Abra and her family if discovered by the predators. Long story short, Abra returned home. At night, Danny is met by Dick Halloran, who says that Sani must help Abra because Abra is currently in danger. He also reminded him of his services that had helped Danny when he was a child to confine the supernatural creatures who tormented Danny. 
Eventually, Danny felt indebted to Tony, who helped him as a child to trap the supernatural creatures that tormented him. Danny accepted Tony's request to help Abra. Meanwhile, Rose planned to target Abra with the aim of exploiting her great shine to sustain her life. Rose entered Abra's mind while she was asleep, but instead of dominating Abra, Rose was attacked by Abra, who was actually in her own separate mind space. Rose was injured when she returned to her own body. Rose's desire to obtain steam from Abra grew stronger, and she disregarded Crow Daddy's warning, sending her members to hunt Abra at her home. Abra informed Danny that she had successfully injured Rose. She also thought they could track the predator's location using a baseball glove similar to the one from the deceased boy. Eventually, Danny and his friend helped Abra go to the murder site to retrieve the glove from the boy's corpse and successfully located the scene of the murder. They immediately went to Abra's house with the glove. Upon arrival, they only met Abra's father because her mother was visiting her grandmother's house. Danny's arrival made Abra's father astonished and disbelieving of Danny's words until Abra proved her powers to her father, making him realize that his child possessed unusual abilities. He then helped Danny, Billy, and Abra try to capture Rose by using Abra's astral projection as bait. Then Danny and Billy set off with Abra's astral projection, followed by the predators to a secluded forest. The predators were shocked as it was a trap. They were then shot by Danny and Billy from a distance, dying one by one, leaving only one named Andy. However, Danny was almost hypnotized by Andy, but was quickly awakened by Abra from her home. Unfortunately, Billy had to die by suicide due to Andy's hypnosis. Danny regretted the death of Billy, his good friend. From a distance, he tried to contact Abra, but suddenly Crow Daddy was already at Abra's house and had killed Abra's father, then took Abra away. Danny immediately sought Abra's location, but it was difficult to connect with her because she had been drugged by Crow Daddy to suppress her shine. Frightened, Danny returned home, where he was about to drink alcohol again. But with strong determination, he decided to communicate again with Abra. Eventually, he managed to enter Abra's body and spoke to Crow Daddy. Since Crow Daddy wasn't wearing a seatbelt, Danny and Abra's body swerved the car into a tree, causing Crow Daddy's death. Rose, knowing her boyfriend and team members were dead, decided to hunt Abra with her own hands. She quickly consumed a supply of human steam to heal her wounds and swore vengeance for the death of her team and boyfriend. In short, Danny decided to return to the Overlook, bringing Abra to defeat Rose because he believed, no matter how far Abra went, Rose would pursue her. The Overlook was a dangerous place for both of them, full of grim memories for Danny, where his father had once attacked his mother with an axe. Not only that, young Danny had been tormented by the supernatural creatures there. Upon arrival, Danny left Abra in the car, went inside, turned on the boiler, explored the building, and then reached a bar where he met the spirit of his father. It turned out Danny's father was the barkeeper at the Overlook Hotel, but even after death, his terrifying ghost remained. Meanwhile, Rose had also arrived at the hotel. Then Abra quickly went in, met Danny, and set up a mind trap to capture Rose. Rose was attacked by Abra repeatedly in her mind, overwhelmed at first, but then realized it was a trap and managed to fight back against Danny's and Abra's powers. When Rose tried to harm them, Danny attempted to fend her off with an axe, but Rose managed to injure Danny and take some of his steam. In desperation, Danny opened all the boxes he used to trap the ghosts of the Overlook, and they surrounded Rose and ultimately killed her. Danny tried to escape the ghosts, but unfortunately, his body was possessed by a ghost making him chase Abra, who was still inside the hotel. Abra ran from Danny's pursuit, dodging the Overlook's ghosts until she arrived in a room and faced Danny. However, Abra managed to awaken Danny's memories, and the conscious Danny ordered her to leave the hotel. Then, Abra ran to the front of the hotel to wait for Danny, while Danny entered the power generator room. However, the room was soon engulfed in flames. He also saw his mother holding young Danny's face, and then the fire began to spread, burning the entire contents of the hotel. Outside the hotel, Abra waited for Danny, watching helplessly as the hotel burned down. Then the police arrived and rescued Abra. In short, as the days changed, Abra, who survived the steam predators, had to lose two people she loved. However, it turns out Danny had become a ghost 
who would always be with Abra. Abra's mother also eventually got used to Abra's powers. Then, Abra in the bathroom faced the Overlook's ghost and trapped it in a box, using the same technique taught by Danny. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing, you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.